Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you with another explication request. If you have an explication request, to send it to explication request at guruexamprep.com. This is a margin question. All test prep vendors overdose on margin. Uh, series 7, you're going to get 3-4. They're going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, I think it's usually negative news, not good news like this. Um, but oh well. The key to solving margin questions is to know the classical margin equation, which is long market value minus debit equals equity. I think the best analogy is a house. Market value of the house minus mortgage on the house equals equity on the house, right? And the equity goes up and down based on the market value. The mortgage remains constant. So for example, if I buy a $100,000 house, I put down $10,000. My equity initially is 90. You know, the stock, uh, the house doubles to 200. Now I have 190 in equity. And I could probably get an excess equity line of credit. Uh, in a margin account, here's this question, explication request. In a margin account, your customer's long market value is 22. The debit balance is eight. If the customer enters an order to purchase $12,000 worth of stock, the margin call will be, okay, well, we need to do our initial setup. So we have $22,000 in long market value. We have an $8,000 debit registered debit balance. That's what you owe the brokerage firm. So you have $14,000 in equity. We love lending customers money. It's one of our all time favorite things to do. So we're gonna compare what you have to Reg T, half of the market value, half of 22 is 11. So a couple ways to think about this. On $22,000 in collateral, I can lend you up to $11,000 and you've only borrowed eight. Another way to think about it is you only need 11,000 in equity and you got $14,000 in equity. So you have $3,000 in excess equity. As a test taker, I don't think it would cause you a problem. Think of excess equity and SMA as one of the, one and the same. They're not really. You know, as a margin clerk, what I do when you have excess equity is I make a special memorandum to your account. I create a holding tank for that excess equity. And you can either have, in, as it sits right now, $3,000 in cash, or you could have uh, $6,000 in buying power. You know, if you access that $3,000 in cash, that's a loan. If I uh, extend you $6,000 in buying power, that's a loan. The only way you get your own money out of the margin account is to sell securities. So that's where it sits right now. So as a margin clerk now, we can deal with the question. You should always do the initial setup. I'm a big believer in the setup before you take on the question, right? So now we can read that last sentence now that we have our setup. If a customer enters an order to purchase $12,000 worth of stock, the margin call will be, well, as a margin clerk, I say, okay, well, of the $12,000 you want to purchase, Buying power will take care of six. That's what buying power means. You could buy stock with a non-required deposit. So you're not going to have to deposit anything for six of the 12. So that means we're left with 6,000 and you need to send me half of the six. And half of the six is 3,000. That is the answer to this test question. You have a $3,000 margin call. Now, as a bonus, I want to show you what the account would look like afterward. I want you to try and get comfortable with, you know, the, the margin, classical margin equation. So the answer to the question, the margin call will be 3000 So here's the bonus. You just bought $12,000 worth of additional security. So now there's $34,000 in market value. You know, of the $12,000, you were uh, borrowed nine. Remember, you only put up nine, three of the 12. So we lent you another $9,000. So now you owe us $17,000 to the broker-dealer. The eight we originally lent you, and the nine I'm lending you now. Remember, you put up $3,000 of the 12, and so that's where that 17 shows up, right? So you bought $12,000 worth of securities, used your buying power for six. That was a loan. Then I loaned you another three, so I lent, lent you a total of $9,000 for this $12,000 purchase. You put up three, and now you're perfectly balanced. You know, if you use your SMA, use your buying power, you lose it. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, like I say, don't overdose on margin. 
I'll link in the video description to either margin account class replay or a uh, margin lecture called Don't Overdose on Margin. You can also put margin in the search bar and see lots of practice questions like these. Remember, uh, inch by inch, your exam is a cinch, yard by yard, your exam is hard, and I will see you for the next explication request.